Let's dive into the world of foods that can stir up trouble, the ones that cause the most inflammation. Some people think red meat and animal products are to blame, while others say it's the fiber in our diets. This back and forth leaves people confused about what to eat. There are plants like turmeric, milk thistle, and stinging nettle root that claim to have natural anti-inflammatory powers, but they also have things called anti-nutrients, and that gets people talking about whether they're okay to eat. The debate about fiber gets even more heated, making us wonder if it's good or bad. Some people feel great eating more meat, while others do better with lots of plant-based foods. To understand all this, let's look at inflammation in the context of autoimmune diseases, which often start in our gut. Allergies to things like milk, nuts, eggs, and gluten make this story even more complicated. Turns out, we can't digest fiber or gluten easily, making it tough for some people to handle these elements. Now, let's talk about what breaks down fiber. Tiny things called microbes play a big role. Research says fiber is good for our gut and fights inflammation but some people who avoid fiber feel better with their autoimmune conditions and allergies. The missing piece might be unfermented fiber, which can cause inflammation if there's too much in our gut. This hints at a link between changes in our gut bacteria and inflammation. When we look at personal stories and how things like antibiotics affect our gut, we see a pattern. Antibiotics, which kill off our gut microbes, seem connected to more gut inflammation, autoimmune problems, and allergies. What we eat as kids matters too. If we have lots of ultra-processed foods when we're young, it might cause inflammation issues. These foods, often full of sugar, flour, seed oils, and something called glyphosate, are a bit like the tobacco industry's tricks. One interesting thing about ultra-processed foods is that they often have a lot of glyphosate, which acts like an antibiotic. This stuff messes with our gut bacteria, especially the ones that are essential for a healthy gut. It's found in things like corn, soy, cottonseed oil, canola oil, and wheat products, and it might secretly be causing gut inflammation. Considering all this, it's pretty clear that a mix of sugar, flour, seed oils, and glyphosate in ultra-processed foods can be a real troublemaker, causing a lot of inflammation, autoimmune issues, and allergies. Knowing this helps us make smarter choices about what we eat. Now that you're in the know about the most inflammatory foods, check out my video on the top anti-inflammatory foods for a more balanced perspective. So, armed with the knowledge of these sneaky troublemakers hiding in ultra-processed foods, laden with sugar, flour, seed oils, and glyphosate, we can take a step towards better health. Help. Understanding the impact of these culprits is the first key to making informed dietary choices. By steering clear of these inflammatory triggers, we pave the way for a healthier, happier gut. Remember, what you eat matters, and making conscious decisions today will shape your well-being tomorrow. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more insights, and share this video with others on their journey to a healthier lifestyle. Thanks for tuning in.